It feels great. We are at the Hyatt Regency Chesapeake Bay here in uh, Cambridge, Maryland. It's opened the door really for people to explore all that we have to offer, not just on property, but in, in Dorchester as a whole. They have so many fun amenities for families. There's this window on the hot tub and there's this um, black thing under it and you can go under it to go inside. There's a hot tub and it's real big and there's a volleyball court and a basketball court. They even have the um, dive in movies to offer families and great things to do in the winter. Two fireplaces here and lots of like comfy places to just hang out with your family, play board games. And then just beyond the window is the 18th hole for the golf course. This area is huge for hunting and the Hyatt has a special for people who are coming to hunt and you can bring your animal with you and stay right here on property. We are in the middle of downtown Cambridge, which is you know, it's our Main Street community, which is really on Race and Poplar Street. We're standing in the um, Blue Awning, which is a home and garden gift shop in downtown Cambridge. What our goal is really to offer people something that is um, a good price point, something that's unique. We have a lot of different local artists that we support. We make things ourselves. We offer workshops. So this mixing bowl set is bamboo product. And a lot of people, they come to see the mural, and you know, that went viral, so and that is right behind our building. It is the Take My Hand mural of Harriet Tubman, which was painted by Michael Rosado, who is a very well-known muralist. In, in this depiction, Harriet is reaching out to lead people to freedom. People can download the Visit Dorchester app on the iPhone, any kind of smartphone, and um, we have three tours on that app. One is of downtown Cambridge. Today we're looking at the Harry Tubman mural. Welcome to Blackwater Bakery. We're located in historic downtown Cambridge. Our coffee is from Chesapeake Bay Roasting Company. They are huge supporters of the restoration and the oyster recovery project. We always tend to support who believes in the same causes that we do. Supporting small restaurants and businesses is really vital and really important. The Chop Tank River Lighthouse here, you can walk out to it. It's a replica of a lighthouse that once stood at the end of the Chop Tank River. We're standing in front of Spokot Windmill in Village. Spokot Windmill is Maryland's only post-style windmill, which means that it can rotate with the wind. This site goes back to the 1800s. At the village part of the site, we have buildings including the, an old schoolhouse, an old cottage, a little general store. Now, what we want to see is have more people in our destination staying for longer and just enjoying more of what we have to offer.